last session of the Honorable Judge Susan Bach for presiding. Please be seated. Before we can get started, I we're waiting for the prosecutor to arrive. We should be here momentarily. And he's here standing on site. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chesnoff, uh, I think we'll take your matter first. As long as we have everybody here, are we waiting on any parties? No, Mr. Chesnoff is with me, and we're here on behalf of our client. And your honor, for the record, the. Uh, Deceased victim's family is present. Okay, thank you. So I know this morning may be highly charged for many of you. We will always in this courtroom, like other courtrooms, have the utmost respect for one another. And I know it's a very difficult time, but um, please try to keep your emotions to a minimum with no outbursts. Um, I do have tissue if anybody needs it, but. Uh, We'll go ahead and go forward. State of Nevada versus Henry Henry James Ruggs, 21 CR 050378. Good morning, Mr. Chesnoff, Mr. Schoenfeld, Mr. Bellman. Good morning, Your Honor. Did you receive a copy of the criminal complaint this morning? Yes, we have, Your Honor. And you're formally conferring today as counsel? Yes, we are, Your Honor. Do you wait the reading? Yes, please. And you'd like to set this for a preliminary hearing? Yes, please. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Bellman, does this need to be on a certain date? Um, I mean, on a Wednesday or a... Your Honor, my preference would be a Thursday, but we can be flexible. Okay. December 16 at 8 a.m. Mr. Chesnoff, is your client here today? No, Your Honor, we'd ask the court to wait, Mr. President. Okay, I just would like to reiterate um, to you, it looks to me so far that your client has been compliant on all of his breath check-ins. I did receive a report. Uh, just please reiterate to him that any missed check-ins, any dirty tests would result in revocation of his bail he, by this court. He fully understands, Your Honor, has been completely compliant. Yes, and I do see that so far as today. Thank you. All right, so we have our hearing date. Yeah, we have one issue to raise, Your Honor. Okay. Um, apparently the state filed some ex parte motions regarding medical records. Uh, one affects our client, and one affects uh, Ms. Washington, whose counsel is Pete Christiansen, who's president of the court. Uh, we would ask the court at this time to stay the orders that you enter. Uh, one, we were completely uh, surprised that knowing that there was counsel in the case, that there would be an ex parte motion, and then to some degree more surprised that the court wouldn't ask us for input. Um, we ask you to stay it. We'd like to brief it. Nevada is a unique place, Your Honor. It provides protections to citizens accused in cases that are different than a lot of states. In this case, there are uh, statutory privilege considerations that the motion address. Mr. Schoenfeld can fill you in on the actual statute, but we believe that the court needs to hear in an actual hearing our reasons for objecting to the order that the court has already entered. Just, just in support of the state that we're requesting, we're not arguing the merits at this point in time, but the significance is that the motion and the order address the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, commonly referred to as HIPAA, and the exception that exists for law enforcement purposes. But that order does not address is NRS 49.215 and 49.225 which are the protections that Mr. Chesnoff was referring to under the data law, which is the patient-doctor privilege. So just because you have a protection under federal law and an exception under federal law, that doesn't address the state protections, and there's no exception under the state protections. So we would like the opportunity to brief that before the privilege is breached, in effect, by the records being turned over to the state via the ex parte order. So we would like to stay. One additional thing, Your Honor. Our research and the limited time we knew about this because it was ex parte has revealed that the uh, Ninth Circuit has stated previously that the state law would trump um, the federal HIPAA. So we, we ask you to stay. We'll brief this quickly. We'll give Mr. Bowman and the people an opportunity uh, to respond, and then we can have an actual hearing. 
Mr. Dowling, do you care to respond? I do, Your Honor. <coughs> Firstly, Your Honor, I note that in the guilty ex parte motions that Your Honor did sign, the state spells out its specific statutory authority that we we would be had to request the records in this case. Uh, furthermore, I would note that it's the state's position that a stay, that a stay of your orders is an inappropriate remedy at this time. There is no, the harm that would accrue to the defendant in this case would come at the point at which the state would attempt to introduce said records into evidence. And the proper remedy if there were to be one on the defendant's claim would be to move to suppress this evidence at that time. If you're on the way of yours to Ms. Washington, one of the orders you signed pertains to my client, Carol Washington, who's passing on Mr. Rose's car. And, and I don't think, I joined in Mr. Chesnoff and Sean Phillips' motion, and, and don't fault the state for not noticing me. They, they didn't know she had retained me. She, she has a claim uh, as an injured, fault free passenger. Uh, and, and so I don't think the exceptions that potentially apply to Mr. Ruggs apply to her. Uh, and so I'd like an opportunity to brief as well. All right, so I'm certainly going to allow all parties to brief um, this matter. However, it is standard in cases of this sort that the district attorney's office does request medical records um, under pursuant to NRS 629.065, there's federal statute 45 CFR 184.512 or 164.512. There are certainly some exceptions in there for purposes of public safety and law enforcement requests so they can go forward with the prosecution of their um, cases. I'm not making any further rulings on that time because it has never been challenged before. Um, I certainly look forward to seeing your briefs but we have a preliminary hearing date set. I think we can certainly, in the meantime, hear um, the briefings of all parties. And so, how much time do you need for that, Mr. Chesnoff? We'll get it today is what? what by next Friday or Thursday? How much is Thursday? Thursday? Well, next week on Thursday is, um, that's fine. I will uh, be out of the jurisdiction next week on Thursday, but if you have that filed Thursday, Mr. Bauman, your office will need 10 judicial days. 10 judicial days after that. <coughs> we'll just set a briefing schedule. Okay. What? Okay. And you're all right. Next week is, next Thursday is uh, the 18th for defense, December 2nd for the state, and then we'll go forward with the hearing after that. Uh, Mr. Christiansen, you want to stay on the same? Briefing schedule. That'd be great. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. And I, if I misunderstood, will the court stay the order until the court hears this? The court has commented that this is a, 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 a novel issue. Um, Mr. Chesnoff, I. Even though, it, even though the court regularly does this, uh, Nevada citizens and people in Nevada courts are entitled to as much protection as the legislature and, and the governor intended. We'd ask you to consider again staying it so that there can be a, 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 a judgment on the, on, with both sides input. I don't know that the, the proceedings need to be stayed. I mean, I think we have a preliminary hearing that is set. I, I'm not asking to stay the proceedings. I'm just asking that the records not be produced until such time as Mr. Rutz has an opportunity to litigate that issue. All right, so we're going to do a hearing then on Wednesday, December 8th, regarding that issue. Okay? Thank you. Is this At 7.30. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, Your Is the stay approved or denied? I will approve the stay until December 8th at 7.30. Thank you. We appreciate it. Or I will issue a ruling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr.